guys, it's Meg and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I'm going to be doing a little unboxing, technically an unboxing. Um, I did have to actually check what was in the package before I filmed this video because I'm expecting quite a few packages at the moment. But today I'm going to be unboxing an album that actually came out, I think, was it a couple months ago or was it last year? I feel like it was last year. I be, I could be completely wrong. Today I'm going to be opening my long-awaited vinyl, which has actually been in the post. I literally ordered this like a month ago and it's just come now. I didn't pre-order it, nothing. Like this has been out for a while. It took forever to come. So today I'm unboxing Declan McKenna's What Happened to the Beach album on vinyl and I'm so excited. So there were different variants for this album. There was obviously the standard black. I think you had a yellow. You had alternate covers and you had like a picture disc. And I was really torn on what one I wanted to get. I love Declan McKenna, he's 100% one of my favourite indie artists ever. Um, me and my best friend actually went to go and see him in Brighton. It was so much fun, honestly, he, it was such a good time. The vibes were immaculate. Yeah, I would definitely see him again. Um, we had a, an amazing time. I'll put some videos on the screen so you can see. Um, and yeah, obviously he was performing like his new album and also a lot of his other songs. Of course he was performing his new album which is What Happened to the Beach and it just made me fall in love with the album even more. I like the album before I saw him live but the fact that I heard it live just made me fall in love with it even more because I have really great memories associated to the album now. So literally when we got home from Brighton I ordered the album. So I did actually order a couple things from his web store. So at the show obviously he did have a little merch stall with all like the tour t-shirts but the queue was massive and because me and my friend had standing we were like let's just get a decent spot like I can order the merch online and I knew I could order it online because I saw it the week before. So the first thing that I ordered was a tour t-shirt. I have to get a tour t-shirt. Any show I go to, regardless of how big of a fan I am of the artist or not, I have to get a tour t-shirt. These are like my trophies. <laughs> so this is the tour t-shirt I got. There were lots of different variations, but this one just caught my eye. I absolutely love the design on the front. It's very retro. It just looks like a really cool graphic tee. It says Declan McKenna, and then what happened to the beach. And it's kind of got like this caricature of Declan, and then you've got a cow. Cows are kind of like a symbol for the album. Um, so that's quite fun. And then here is the back. It just says Declan McKenna, what happened to the beach. And then it just says UK and Ireland 2020 and then it has all the dates we went to and my date was this one 13th of April which is really fun absolutely love it did a size medium it is actually one of the softest t-shirts I've ever purchased from a merch store site thing about it as well it looks like it's a um, eco-friendly t-shirt as well which is really great one thing I love about Declan McKenna's merch is a lot of it is very like um, environmentally conscious like on his web store they were like oh please add an additional one pound to your order so like CO2 emissions get reduced like the transport of the merch and that I thought that was a really good idea the fact that the t-shirts are made from like you know like sustainable material I believe it's sustainable material or they're eco-friendly something like that I don't know the full ins and outs of it I love that I can't wait to style that and then on to the main thing which is actually the record this actually came with a signed print which I'm so so excited about one thing that I was so excited about getting signed print for as well is because it was so funny because I actually posted a video of me and my friend singing along to listen to your friends when we saw him in Brighton and we actually sound like screaming banjis in the background of it um, I posted it on my TikTok so go view it on my TikTok if you want to hear what we sound like I put it on my Instagram story and Declan McKenna actually viewed my story he literally listened to me and my friend screaming like banjis to listen to your friends because that's one of our favorite songs by him <laughs> Yeah, so Declan McKenna saw my story. Literally, me and my best friend were in a restaurant and she went to the loo and I was looking on Instagram to see who had seen my story from the night before. And I saw Declan McKenna just pop up. This man was just casually viewing my stories. Um, yeah, so I did fangirl a little. <laughs> no, ready? <laughs> I was like, you know what? The fact I get a signed print, banging. Honestly, I have such a fond memory with this album now. Like, I just, I had to have it in my collection. Also, this said signed insert online. This is what I mean. When artists say a signed insert, this is what I expect. <laughs> it is a really nice quality card. Um, the autograph is in silver Sharpie, which is really, really nice. It's very like complimentary to the photo itself. And then on the back, it has a track list of the album. Like, I just think it's a really nice, quality signed insert. I'm gonna put this on my wall. I don't know if to frame it like my Taylor Swift one or to just 
put it on my wall like a poster, I'm not 100% sure, or just put it in an album. I don't know yet, but it's literally the size of the LP, which I really, really like. So I love this. Let's put that here so you guys can see that. Okay, now let's move on to the record itself. So here's what the front looks like. I like that it already kind of comes in its own sleeve. I just think that's really cool. Here's a little hype sticker. It just says what happened to the beach. And here's what the back looks like as well. This is actually a really cool background because it's kind of like cracking paper mache style. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, it's just a really cool design. So I really appreciate that. Let's open the album and see what the inside looks like. This is a gatefold. So you're going to see the gatefold before me. Oh, that's cool. That's so sick. Love the retro vibes, sticking with the metal detector theme. The interior is yellow, that's cool. What's this? Oh, is this like a lyric booklet? Oh no, oh wait. <gasps> I love that. That looks so cool. I love the retro theming of this. That is so cool. Let's just do a little flick through the pages. This was one of the um, alternate covers. This one was actually like limited edition. I think he limited it to like a thousand copies. Um, Yes, that's really cool. I absolutely love the aesthetics. They are on the point. It's a really nice quality book as well. Like, really like this. Sick. And then that's what the back looks like. I love that. I love the retro vibes. Okay, so it is a single LP. Now let's see. So I actually got the cow print picture disc and I'm so excited to see what this looks like because it just looks so cool online. Here's what sleep looks like by the way, it's just a plain yellow and then on the bottom it just has some info, it's like Declan McKenna and then like the record label we signed to and then on the other side it just says what happened to the beach. Oh, oh that's so cool. Oh my god that is sick. Are you joking? That is so cool. That is actually one of my coolest records. Like, I know it's just a picture disc, but that is so cool. I love that. Like with the album cover as well. Look at that, that is so cool. Here's what side A looks like. And then this is what side B looks like. Oh my God, that is so cool. I'm so happy I went with this pressing. A lot of people say that picture discs have really bad sound quality. I have like five picture discs in my collection and not one of them sounds bad on record. Like I've had a really good experience with them. I think picture discs sound great. Like I never have an issue with them. Okay, my favorite songs on the album, What Happened to the Beach, Elevator Hum, Sympathy, Mullet to Dinner and Wine, Nothing Works, Honest Test, Mezzanine, 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 how do you say it? They are my favorites on the album. So that is it for my unboxing of Declan McKenna's What Happened to the Beach album on record. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If if you did enjoy it please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment and subscribe as well so you don't miss any future vinyl content from myself that's all from me and i'll see you guys next time with a brand new video bye